what's up guys toned up welcome to my channel so I got the uh, one ZZ motor all put back together and I need to install it and before I can put the engine in I need to uh, remove the uh, torque converter and replace the uh, torque converter seals on the transmission. The torque converter gonna have some oil in it, so take carefully take it out, so don't make a big old mess. And there's oil inside, and uh, good luck taking it out when you try to pour into a container. Somehow, you can only get a little bit out of it. So I'm just gonna leave those oil in there, then later on I'm gonna drain the transmission itself and top it off. Take it out. Oil catcher down there in case I'm leaked out. That's pretty clean. And it went around like thirteen dollars for an OEM Toyota seal. And a lot of time, most likely, you can't get it from the dealership on the first day. They got a special order it. I got my on the second day. Not too bad at all. So this is my original seal, about 23 years old. And even though it's still good, when I got another one from the dealership right here, and the part number is uh. I'll put in a link below. And before you take it out, make sure it's the same size. Just go over it. Yeah, it's about the same size. Well, it is the same size. And uh, so the seal itself is uh, flush to the uh, the metal outside casing right here so when I put it back I'll make sure I put it back in the uh, same way it, it does not require any kind of glue to uh, put it back this if you push it in there if this can be a lot of pressure the oil will leak from the side here first before you can actually push this thing out this is a one and a half inch PVC coupler and it will it will fit perfectly over the seal and just enough space for me to use a rubber mallet to push it in. If this thing is too long, you can actually add another extension to it. Just have another short PVC pipe attached to it. So you can attach make it a little longer. But I I think this couple over here will do just fine. Let me go ahead and remove the uh, old seal. Pretty easy to take off. And let's go and double check it again. Identical. The old seal itself is still in good shape. Beside me damaging this part right here but good idea to replace with a new one just clean off the uh, 
metal casing right here. Make sure it's getting the dirt thing off of it. While you have the uh, seal off, you're gonna take a look inside, see the way the two slots are for the uh, torque converter to go in. Here you can see a notch right there. This one at uh, about one o'clock. And on the opposite side should be the other tab right there. You can see right there, you can see a little, a little slot right there. So it's important this thing got to line up with the uh, torque converter. If not, then you can cause damage to your, uh, your your torque converter and transmission. When you bolt the engine and the transmission together and then that line up, you can put a lot of pressures in there and you can cause damages. So right there you see the tap coming out. You need to line up with these two notches right here. Insert the new seal. Make sure it's nice and even. Alright, the seal is back on there, and here's my torque converter. Make sure these notch are, it was like 1 o'clock, and about 1 o'clock on top. So I'm going to line up as close as I can on it. Now it's on the biggest uh, shaft sleeve. Then I wiggle it back and forth. It should lock onto the uh, the groove. There we go. It's in, and that's it. Next thing I do is uh, install the motor in there and bolt them together. All right, and that's how you uh, replace a uh, torque converter seal and put the uh, torque converter back in there.